Now, what you seeing? Yeah. Charlotte is ranked inside the top 10. As we kept winning, we kept climbing the ladder. And this late in the season, with Georgia Brewing ranked number one, Rice number two, yes, Rice. East Carolina followed by us. Now, can you imagine if Rice end up winning out and we win out? That would make a crazy national championship, right? But we end up winning the American Conference. It's no surprise there at all. And your boys truly won the Heisman Trophy. Now, you know coming into this season, it was no holes barred, man. Definitely no holes barred. This kid deserve it. Special talent. I mean, hell, he runs in the family if you ask me. I mean, yeah, those awards are cute and whatnot. Heisman Trophy, but that wasn't satisfying the tree. What was satisfying the tree? is going out on top of his national championships. Now, of course, his grandfather and his father did that. And he wanted to follow them the same footsteps. So, Rice, <sighs> bro, y'all just got to watch to believe. Now, coming into this game first and 10, we throw a quick strike to Keaton. Keenan, Bryce Keenan picks up 21. Now, y'all know the kid is a very special talent, man. It definitely runs in the family. Look at the arm strength. And the receiver comes down with the catch. Breaking multiple tackles at Leon 58 yard touchdown with such bro. You love to see it, man. He definitely put Charlotte on the map. You can't deny it. And right here, Clemens, and it's a lot of NFL scouts in this game. You got the Detroit Lions, you got the Seattle Seahawks, the name a few, Indianapolis Colts. Yo, this kid is gonna show up and show out, man. He gonna do what he do. He shines on the biggest stages, man. And this is the biggest of the biggest. And right here, he wanted to run, but he decided to hit his receiver, Mac, and Mac take it inside the five. That's going to set up a first and go and cap it off with another passing touchdown. We already up nine to 14. A pump fake, and we throw a quick strike with Mac. He drops it, but he ended up catching it before it hit the ground. And he picks up 12, third and seven. We throw a quick strike to Walters. And what a way to put the ball in there. Good ball placement and right here. You just don't do that. I mean, Rice in the must and I never heard of this kid. If you send pressure, you better get there. You better get there. We hit Walters across the middle. And that's going to set up inside the 10. And right here, bro, I don't know what this is, bro. Dude, let's go. His second touchdown catch of the game. Matter of fact, not two, but three. That is unreal. To how far this program had became, bro. Look at this play. I should have ran it in, bro, but to catch it, turn up field, good blocks by his teammates to decide to turn it up for a touchdown. That is unreal. Cross the middle once again. Leon with the reception, bro. 42 yard reception. That connection right now is unbelievable. A little hit drop to Mac and Mac. That goes for 16 on the play first in 10. No, we should have hit circle. We definitely should have hit circle. Right here, this kid is he just playing with these people, man. This dude is just making defenders look out here look fucking silly, bro. Like for real. It would be bittersweet for this kid to end up, you know, exiting as a national champion right here, man. Well, connection to Walton and Walter picks up 10 on the play. Y'all <clears throat> got to get my voice straight. And right here, he could have took off running, bro. That, that shows that maturity, bro. And that shows the scouts, man. He's just not a running dual threat. I mean, he is a dual threat, but, you know, as you hit Burt right there for a 20 yard, you know, 21 yard touchdown reception, but he can use his legs, man. That's, that's something that, you know, a God given ability. And right here, man, it, it's, it's just unfair, man. It's just unfair how fast this kid is and how big he is. It is unreal. And right here, he dropped a pass. Yo, that was a tutty right there. That was a tutty, but we up 34 to 16. And right here, he's just using his legs, man. He picking up the first down with ease. Get out of bounds. He picks up 23 on the play. First and 10, a read option. Get that block. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all better come with this. Bro, I'm telling y'all. You come with it with a speed option. Bird takes the pitch. Three-yard touchdown run, man. You love to see it. We up 41 to 23. We got pressure, man. Escaping outside the pocket. Just stop, bro. Just stop, man. This kid, this kid is just unreal. We pick up 29. This kid right now is just showing off, man. Definitely standing in the pocket. 
Yeah, that's one thing. Like, he wants to stay in the pocket, man. But, you know, just hanging in there, showing poise in the pocket. He picks up third on the last play, hand out to Beard. Beard stretches it to the left outside. And he goes in for another touchdown, man. And that's all she wrote. Going out on top, as y'all say, from the beginning. This kid wasn't highly recruited, man. If y'all go back and look at the first video, he was a, definitely an athlete. <clears throat> definitely decided to take. He could have went the Power 5 route. He could have. But he wanted to go to a school and really grind it and, and really put the school on the map, man. And he definitely did that for Charlotte 49ers, man, most definitely. It's, it's definitely a good feeling to see this kid grow, to see where he came from. You know what I mean? Like I say, he could have went the Power 5 route, but he chose to take a different route. And he really, really got out in the mud, man. Early on, didn't really get that many starts, but his first full season, he showed what he can do. You know what I mean? Not many starts compared to other, other his other peers. So we shall see where, you know, he goes at the next level. You know what I mean? So y'all stick around, man. Now, this is Trey's Pro Day. You know, a few little scouts, you know, Seattle Seahawks, the Detroit Lions, Indianapolis Colts. Handful of teams come and watch this kid throw the ball. You know what I mean? You see Pete Carroll. Definitely want to see that arm strength, you know, different routes. Look at the arm strength, bro. Most definitely. A lot of teams are interested. You know, you see the Cincinnati being, they don't need no quarterback. But, you know, you just never know. Another team, New England Patriots, you know. It's, it's bro, you just never know this kid. Well, they try to make him switch positions. You know what I mean? So, it's definitely... A great feeling, you know what I mean, for me as a content creator, you, you know, to see this kid grow from where he started from, you know what I mean? Look at the orange strength, kind of an overthrow right there. But, you know, this orange strength is just bar none, officially 4-4-5-40. But let's see where he ended up being drafted at, man. here in Seattle for this preseason matchup between the Patriots and the Seahawks. Hello friends, Jim Vance along with Bill Sim. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. Yes, sir. We end up getting drafted by the Seattle Seahawks, the number three overall draft pick in a first round is Kenneth Walker the third takes it for 19 on the play. Now I just want to address a few things quickly. We're gonna switch the number, bro. Right now you're rocking number 12. No, we're gonna try to see if we can buy see if we can, you know, whoever got number three. We're gonna try to buy it off, 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 off of them. You, you know what I mean? But this is Madden 25 revamp. Now, if you you know, like Anthony Richardson, he's not on the coast. You feel me? This just a video content purposes, but as you can see, we take the read option. This is what he did in college, bro. You love to see it. Get out of the pocket and get the long run for the touchdown. I think this is a perfect situation. Get to learn behind Geno Smith, you know, Kenneth Walker, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. We end up, they end up drafting Zay Flowers. I know he in real life he's on the Baltimore Ravens, but like I say, you know, everybody's not in the right place, but that's okay. You know what I mean? It's just video content purposes right here. Bro, Rashad Penny, and they even got Nick Chubb. I don't know how they got him. <laughs> Is Penny taking that thing to the crib? Let's go. Let's go. But now we end up did not finish the game because it froze on me. So we had to end up. We, we just going to count this game as a duck because obviously we was winning before it froze up. You know what I mean? So. As he thought Nick Chubb dropped the pass. Like I say, I don't know how they be, you know, a lot of these teams be putting superstars on a trading block. So I guess this is what happened. Or they didn't renew his contract. Whatever the case is, we got Nick Chubb. And right here, look at Zay Flowers. He picks up a handful. Yo, we got a squad, man. Definitely got a squad. You know what I mean? On defense, 
you got the boy. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. Um, uh, Tariq Woolen, bro. Kobe Bryant, you know, bro, this this defense, but it just he's, he's in a perfect situation. That Kevin Walker takes in the end zone as we extend this lead. You love to see it, man. Definitely love to see it. We up twenty eight to seven. Now, of course, we're going against backups. You feel me? Right here, we had no offense, and that's good for a first down. We up twenty eight to seven. Now we're gonna play the rest of the game, I believe. And Nick Chubb, damn, that was one hard right, attacker, bro. Definitely don't want to see his career ended. And right here, unlike NCAA 14, bro, they actually do, you know, juke moves, spin moves, stiff on truck sticks, you feel me? As Kenda Walker picks up the first down. We definitely want to get familiar with the NFL offense, because obviously, this is a heck of a lot different. As Kenda Walker takes a lick right there, different from Collins, you feel me? But the plays that he do feel comfortable with, it's going to be lights out, bro. It's definitely going to be lights out for defense, man. Let's go. All the way home for the touchdown. Terrible job by the defense. Somebody has to keep their eye on the quarterback. Nobody does. And he's able to get out of the pocket and get the long run for the touchdown. As I said, as I spoke, you know, this is a perfect situation. He don't have to be thrown into the fire. He learned behind Geno Smith. Perfect situation. Good running game. Good receivers. Good defense. You know what I mean? But once he gets it, bro, it's going to be unreal. But as I say, we did not finish this game. We are big, you know, freezing on me. And you know what I mean? So I had to, you know, restart it and you basically simulate it. So we're going to count this as a win. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, the numbers right there. No passing touchdowns, but his legs is what, you know, Kenny Walker, let's go, baby. Let's go. You definitely love to see it, man. But we're going to go ahead and jump into game number two after this play, man. See, y'all stick around. Do not exit the video, man. So we end up winning the game 52 to 7. As you can see, first round pick, third overall. He coming into a great situation now, even though it says Connecticut. Y'all know that he went to Charlotte. You know what I mean? But as, as I promised, we're gonna switch up to Russell Wilson's old number tree three. It all makes sense. You feel me? But we're gonna go with a Steve Young throwing motion. Let's get to it, man. Charlotte, North Carolina is the host here for this preseason matchup between the Seahawks and the Panthers. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this prime time. In this second game, we are taking on the Carolina Panthers. They already jumped to a, a 7 0 lead, but as y'all as know, they're going to call plays to get this kid comfortable, more, more comfortable. If this is in the field, and right here, bro, we do it to a touchdown pass. So our starting left tackle cross. That is crazy. I don't know why I don't know they don't sign the necessary players that they need to, but we end up doing the touchdown pass, tying the game up. Under a minute remaining, that is your boy Zay Flowers across the middle, and he picks up a first down, 45 seconds left play action. Right here, this is not the college, bro. You know, in college, he would have broke that sack. He would have been down the sideline. Right here, he takes back-to-back -back sacks. Can't hold on to the ball like he do it in college, you feel me? But right here, you throwing it deep to Nick Chubb with a diving catch. That is cooking, man. We end up getting three points out of that right here. We throw it to Green, and Green is down the sideline, and he picks up the first down gain of 25 on the plays. Y'all know. They gonna Pete Carey gonna call plays, the best plays for this kid, man. This kid is the future. You feel me? He picks up a handful in the third, <clears throat> first down. <clears throat> Godwin crossed the middle, and that his second passing touchdown of the game. This boy is turned right now. We up seventeen to seven. Zay Flowers, his second catch of the game, and that is good for a first down. But y'all let me know, is this a great situation for him to come into? Nick Chubb is out here trucking people left and right. Good little check down, man. Even better. He picked up extra yards. And right here, we knocking on the door for the touchdown. And your boy Trey ends up cashing in, man. We up 24 to 14. Another read option play. Damn, who is that downfield blocking? 
Yo, that receiver let that DB on his behind for real. Second and four, another read option play, bro. We gonna keep calling plays to get this kid comfortable. You feel me? You know what I mean? This kid is two and O oh in the preseason. You feel me? But we gonna take a nail down. That should be the game. Y'all let me know how he how he transitioned from college being that dude. You know, grinding from the bottom and then becoming that dude. Heisman Trophy friend. Heisman Trophy winner. Will that transition to the NFL? You know, we all know NFL is a whole different breed, whole different story. We all know that. But like I said, with with his raw athletic ability and with the right coaching, I think he would transition fairly well to the NFL. You know what I mean? I think he's in the right system, good place. As you can see, 11 for 14, 186, 78 completion percentage going along with two passing touchdowns, no interception, General Smith, 50. How many yards he had? Five. Didn't really do that much, but he's the starter. We got to respect it. You feel me? Kenneth Walker, the third, 74 rushing yards. Trey Campbell, 107 yards on two scores, man. This kid is just, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm done speaking about it. Y'all know Nick Chubb, that's a three-headed monster in that backfield, man. Definitely three-headed monster. You know, Marquise Godwin, 23 receiving yards. Chubb, 68. Green, 32. Zay Fowl, 28 receiving yards. Hart, 18. Cross, uh, starting left tackle, had that touchdown catch, man. But I love it, man. It's just breath, a, a breath of fresh air to be able to play something that, other than NCAA, man. But it's your boy, CR8. Log on out to the next video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone. I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.